Hey, good afternoon. Uh, listen, I want to share something with you that uh, uh, I've been exposed to it before. It's a, it's a, it's a technique. It's an it's a, um, acupuncture technique or acupressure technique. And I remember coming across it uh, uh, quite a few years ago and I actually bought uh, this uh, online book and printed it off and have it here on the table. And it's called uh, Thought Field Therapy. The original uh, concept, the original uh, conversation around was Thought Field Therapy. Then it became, uh, the thought field, thought, thought field therapy became um, what they call um, meridian tapping or uh, uh, EFT or just tapping. And what's really interesting is that, um, you know, if I remember correctly, the, uh, the origin of the program, the origin of the skill was, uh, was discovered by a psychologist who worked with a lady who had a uh, phobia, had a water phobia, and she she couldn't uh, go into a bath, she couldn't have a shower, um, she couldn't certainly go near a bo big body of water, and terrible, terrible uh, um, phobia. And uh, of course, part of psychology, there's this what we call aversion therapy, which is, uh, or exposure therapy. You take people to the very thing that they're afraid of, and they're, if they're around it long enough, they realize, well, I've been, you know, I've been near this elevator door, I've been near this body of water long enough that my body is becoming desensitized to it. So my body doesn't care anymore. It's no longer afraid. Well, it wasn't working for this lady, and it really doesn't work for a lot of people, actually. But, but uh, when he was talking to her, what uh, she had talked about, what she was noticing, yeah, it was that, you know, she had mentioned that she got this, you know, uh, feeling in her stomach. Right, I feel sick to my stomach when I'm around water. And uh, this uh, this uh, therapist actually knew that there was a meridian point under the eye that actually was a Chinese um, Chinese acupuncture point for the stomach. So what he had to do, he had her tap underneath her eye while she was around the water. And, uh, and again, I'm not sure the length of time, but it was this one session while I was standing next to the pool, tapping underneath her eye, and the feeling in her belly went away, and the phobia went away immediately. Like immediately, right? It's an extraordinary phobia uh, that really had this lady trapped for most of her life in around, you know, this obviously this fear of water. And so, so that... So that discovery of the tapping on this acupun acupuncture point um, actually interfered with the amygdala, right? It actually had a connection to the, the fear center of her mind, which reduced the, uh, the feeling in her gut and, and it changed the phobia, right? Got rid of the phobia. So EFT and tapping, uh, I think would be a really, a really important tool. I'm, I'm, I've got, a, a, got a, I have a couple of books here on it and I'm going through, it's not super complicated, but I want to understand more of it. But I think it really has beautiful application to the IM project. I think it's, it's a beautiful tool that we can use and so simple because really what we're looking for is simple solutions. And uh, so I encourage you to have a look at it, uh, to look at tapping uh, emotional freedom technique. And, um, and for myself, I'm going to spend a couple of months really uh, studying up on it a lot and, re and practicing a lot, two, three months, before I take it into my clients. So uh, don't look at it as a neat idea and then want to go do it right away. Uh, develop some expertise for yourself. Uh, go through your own experience of it. Um, and again, I would recommend, you know, 20 to 30 sessions uh, on your own, even before you think about taking it to somebody. But I think it's a really great tool and I think it's something worthwhile exploring. So... Anyhow, guys, let me know your thoughts, and I'd love to hear your feedback on it, and I hope you have a beautiful day.